Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Nick at Chief Fit Online, let's talk about part of your calf today. Your gastrocnemius, gastrocnemius, exclamation point. This is the biggest muscle you have in your calf. Your calf is down here, it's one of these babies. It has two heads, a medial and a lateral. Now, the medial head, which is the one on the inside, is a little bigger than the lateral head. Now, if you look at my calf, you'll see that. The one on this side is a little bit longer than the one on the outside, the lateral head. So that you have two heads to the calf. Does that make sense? That's why one's down here and one's up here. They both attach down at your Achilles tendon. It's your gastrocnemius aponeurosis, or the aponeurosis of your gastrocnemius. You don't need to know that, don't worry about it. But two heads, medial lateral. It is uh, mainly responsible for explosive movements. Meaning it is a type two dominant set of muscle fibers. Type two versus type one. Type one are more slow twitch, that's like ind endurance running. Type two, those are more explosive. That's sprints, that's jumping. So your gastrocnemius is more responsible for that. The other calf muscle is your soleus. So gastrocnemius is more type two, soleus is more type one, just so you know. It is the largest lower leg muscle and it does get crampy. It's a crampy muscle. So when you get a, ca a calf cramp, here's what I want you to do, ready? When you flex your foot, you do this. That flexes your calf. If you want to loosen up your calf cramp, ow, 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 ow. you need to work on the antagonistic muscle. The antagonist of your calf is your anterior tibialis. It's this guy running down here. You can kind of see him, kind of. So if you have a weak anterior tibialis, you're more prone to getting calf cramps. The other thing you can do when you get a calf cramp is just do this. Do something where you stretch out the calf. And one more tip for you people trying to grow your gastrocnemius. If you keep your legs straight, you're not gonna get as much gastrocnemius because it attaches up here at the femur. So what you wanna do, the gastrocnemius is actually, it helps with deflection too. So you wanna bend that knee a tiny bit and you'll get more Gastrocnemius. That's it, Coach Nick. I'm gonna go on this elevator and I'll see you guys next time. Oh God, I don't know if I'm gonna get low enough. Did I get low enough? Oh, I did? I don't know if I did.